Let's talk today about temptation. And I'm going to talk to you about it in a different way than you normally hear about it. It has been quoted, do not fight the temptation in detail. Turn from it immediately. Look only for God. Sing and read and work. In the Bible, in Proverbs 4, uh, verse 25 through verse 27, it says, look straight ahead. Now, what is this saying in the Bible? So many times we turn around and we focus most of our current present moment attention on the past, on spent energy, on that that no longer exists. Now, let me continue. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. We'll talk about what the safe path is in a moment. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. What is it to follow evil? Well, here is the what I believe is the real translation. It's following error. Error is error thought inside of my mind, inside of your mind. So many times we'll have a fear or anxiety or a negative thought come up, and we will literally get down and worship that in the way that we'll say, gee, you must know everything. I, I believe in you, old negative one. I will follow you to the end of this day until I close my eyes and hopefully am healed during sleep. Well, you think, gee, I've never said a prayer like that. But we have through our actions, through our thinking. Have you noticed that the mind is filled with such temptations to sink into negativity? I believe this is what the fall of man is. It is a daily occurrence where we do not rise in our thinking, in our reactions, in our ability to love instead of hate. Unless you've been living a life of a hermit, you've noticed that the temptations to sink into negativity are everywhere. You watch the news at night and all the bad news, and there's a lot of bad news. But I guarantee you, my friend, the good news overwhelms the bad at any time. We can focus on anything. We can focus on the negativity or we can focus on the good. And I pray that for the most part of your day that you focus on the good, on God, and what God is doing in your life and your loved ones' lives. With so much available in these times, there seems to be a steady stream of, of dangerous thoughts that will come to us inside. Dangerous in the way that it can affect our health. Dangerous in the way that it can affect our mood. Dangerous in the way that it will affect our energy. Really, that's all there is. You live inside of this body temple. And if your mind, your body is polluted with negativity and fear and all of the temptations of mind, uh, I call it national inquirer mind, where we go for the sensationalism to try to give ourselves a thrill? Have you ever known people like that? That they would constantly be in uh, high theater, uh, high drama uh, to create excitement in their lives? Well, they're, they're out there, but they are living lives where they have gone towards the temptation of the negative. How much better to know 
on a moment-to-moment basis that God is with us and that God will give us the power to resist the temptation of the negative when we ask God for the strength to do so. The Apostle Peter offered this stern warning. Your adversary walks about you like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Well, we do get devoured by our own thoughts, our own negative reactions, our own non-forgiveness, our own hate, and we need to reverse this. We must take that warning very seriously. And I talk more serious than I do ordinarily. I've known a lot of people that have been very, very sick, almost to death or to death. And it was because of years of built up, repressed negativity and hate that they carried inside of them to a point that it diseased their system. Let's heed this now and walk the straight and narrow path. And when we do, God has promised to walk with us. So what do we do? We look straight ahead. We fix our eyes on what is before us. We mark out the straight path for our feet and stay on the safe path, the safe path, of positivity and faith and we don't get sidetracked we keep our feet our minds our thoughts our emotions from following error